Bonjour and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Claude and today, Leo, I'm going to be doing your monthly tower reading for the month of March. So I hope you're all doing well. This is the Major Arcana, which is going to be your uh, monthly energy. This pile here are the court cards and this is how you are advised to show up this month. And then in the middle you have the Minor Arcana in order to delve in more depth into the message. Now please remember those are general readings, they will not resonate with everybody. Take what resonates and discard the rest. Now what's the main energy for my Leo Querens this month? Now if the message doesn't resonate or if you want a more comprehensive picture, do check your Sun, Venus, Moon and Rising signs. Let's see what we've got for you. So your energy for the month is strength. How appropriate your card. <laughs> now let's see what cool card you get. Queen of Wands again, fire energy. So what do my Leo Querens need to know? Let me see. The Four of Pentacles came out, but they were piles, so I'm not going to take it. Just so you know, it was there. Okay. So we have the Three of Swords. Five of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, beautiful. Four of Pentacles, told you it wanted to come out. Love it when the cards do this. Ten of Wands, Ace of Cups, beautiful. Look at that, two Aces. Awesome. Okay, so the Strength card. So for your energy for the month, you, you got the Strength card. Now, Strength is the card of Fortitude. This is tapping into your inner courage, facing some things with uh, challenges, obstacles, um, with courage and the inner confidence that you're going to get through this, that you've got this, which you definitely do. Um, it is all about um, having faith in yourself. Strength can also talk about um, taming the beast, but not in an aggressive way, you know, like the power of words and having a composed uh, and calm demeanor. The power of words as well sometimes come up with this card. But the essence of it is really tapping into that inner courage that you have, you know, the, the lion inside of you and knowing that you definitely have got it. So there will be challenges or there's just been challenges and you're going to have to, um, you know, overcome them or at least face up to them and you've got this. Because you are advised to um, show up as the Queen of Wands. This is fire energy. This is exactly who you are. Now, queens are patience and understanding. They are the, the yin force, so receptive energy rather than action taking, which would be the king. The queen of wands is someone who has the inner confidence. She glows naturally without having to take action. She's someone very charismatic, very seductive, very um, attractive, generally speaking. Um, and, you know, she's someone who can make decisions and rule um, without having to be harsh in her words because she's got a big stick in her hands and you know people know <laughs> that she can use it if she has to but she doesn't need to because she really really glows with that inner confidence you know that inner fire that's within her so very strong personality um, you know speaking softly but holding your ground 
um, it's, she's a very secure position to be in. Oh, she's what I was describing about the strength card. She knows she's got it. There's no doubt in her head about that. So in the near past, you have been challenged. I see that. You have the Three of Swords. Now, three is the number of growth, expansion, creativity. Swords is the mental realm. So thoughts, ideas, knowledge, truths, communication. The Three of Swords talks about a breakthrough, but, you know, it's with the swords, so it can be painful. Because the breakthrough can be finding out something that's um, been unpleasant. So it could be some facts being revealed. Um, it could be, um, you know, someone telling you something harshly. Um, it, it's just, you know, it's making you grow, but it, it, it is difficult to accept mentally. This is the kind of thing that is going to stay on your mind and, you know, you're going to ruminate over this. And it is clarified by the Four of Pentacles. Now, the Four is the number of strong foundation and stability, generally speaking. Pentacles is the physical realm. So, home life, work life, um, jobs, financial assets. The Four of Pentacles, generally speaking, talks about uh, financial stability. You know, it, it's, a, it's a good card. But on the shadow side of it, it talks about holding on too tight as well. And if you look at this card, she really is holding on tight to her coin. Even her, her body position, almost like a fetus position, which is when we curve to protect our most vital organs. So she's protecting it, really, and all her attention is there. So you're holding on to some kind of... Um, um, unpleasant <laughs> fact that was exposed, uh, some truth or some message that really um, rattled your cage, let me put it this way. I don't see it as a heartbreak because we already have a heartbreak card in the tarot and it, it's the five of cups because the cups are emotions. Swords is mental realm, so this is a growth um, in your thought process or in how you see things. Um, or it's a growth of knowledge, but as I said, it can be very unpleasant because it can be either delivered harshly or it could be just the nature of the facts and knowledge you've acquired that's just unpleasant and you're hold, holding on to this. And so, or you have been holding on to it, in the present you have the Five of Cups and the Ten of Wands. Now I've just mentioned, we already have a Heartbreak card, it's the Five of Cups. Because the Five represents um, change and challenges, and Cups is the emotional realm. So it encompasses relationships, romance, um, your feelings, um, also spirituality and creativity. So the Five of Cups talks about something that challenged you emotionally. So you may be experiencing regrets about something. You may be experiencing disappointment about something. You may feel lost um, because your stability has been challenged, for instance. That's for some of you, not all of you. Take what resonates. And you are exhausted. You have the Ten of Wands clarifying this state of mind. Now, the ten is the number of completion, and wands is to do with passions, desire. It's, it's fire energy, like the queen of wands. Um, it's about your spirit, your soul. And when we do anything with passion and we throw ourselves in, you know, heart and soul, it's exhausting. And so you've been going through it, basically. I can see that you really have been going through it. Um, mentally, emotionally... Um, and, and now you just want to drop your, your, your wands. You want to drop your burden and move on. And I don't blame you. The strength card is telling you that you've got what it takes to drop your wands, overcome that, and move on. So do not fear. Because your reading is incredibly empowering. In the near future, you've got two brand new beginnings. Now, I always get excited when I see aces because I love them. Because they are the seed, the origin of any suit. And you have two brand new beginnings, pentacles to do with physical realm and cups to do with the emotional realm. So this is a brand new beginning in your physical life, so either home life or work life. So it can be anything from a small amount of money to a job promotion, a job offer, 
um, you could be headhunted, um, you could be asked to join the senior team in um, your company, if you work in a company, um, you could be, um, your offer for a new home could be accepted. Um, this is just a brand new physical beginning. It, it's, it's just a wonderful energy to have. And this is clarified by the Ace of Cups. This brand new beginning is going to make your cup overflow. So the Ace of Cups is about uh, brand new love coming your way, rekindling of a love relationship. It could be someone presenting an apology. It could be the birth of a child. It could simply be this brand new beginning in your physical world uh, making you so happy that you are looking towards the future in a very, very positive and optimistic um, way, which is um, really, really beautiful. Um, I mean, I can't say enough. They, these are just beautiful, and you've got two of them next to each other. So this is going to be really uh, a very fulfilling brand new beginning after um, the darkness that you have experienced. And, you know, God, the universe, your angels, spirits, they are recognizing this they know you're going to have to be strong and you're going to have to be in your own power like the queen of wands um, to overcome this they are acknowledging that something has been difficult and challenging for you but they are showing you a brand new beginning and something that's really going to fill your cup which is very exciting i'm now going to draw a final card for a um, final advice give us one last message for my leo querence please oh. Okay, that jumped. There you go. Two of Wands. So your fire energy again. Two of Wands. So two is the number of duality and decisions. The Two of Wands is looking, you see what he's doing, is looking towards um, the ocean. So you, the world is your oyster and you're going to have um, two different paths and they are both going to be bringing you um, different types of experiences and growth but you will experience, um, you, you get to the same point is what I'm trying to say. Whether you go left or right, you are going to get to the same point just with different experiences. And this is going to be very exciting for you because this new beginning will fill your cup. So there are no right, uh, no wrong or right direction it is going to bring you to this beautiful Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Cups, so I wouldn't overthink too much whether you go left or right, is what I'm saying. So I hope you've enjoyed your journey for the cards with me. If you did, or if the message helped you in any ways, do let me know in the comment box below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for stopping by and allowing me to read for you. I really appreciate it. I wish you a fantastic March month, and I hope to see you again very soon. Until next time, au revoir.